This hour, the Ferguson fire is more than 56,000 acres. It's burning near Yosemite National Park after killing a second firefighter over the weekend. Park rangers from Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks tell us that the man is 33-year-old Captain Brian Hughes. CBS 47's Christina Tetro live from the newsroom with how Hughes is being remembered. Christina. Brian Hughes was a captain of the Arrowhead Interagency Hotspots. The Hawaiian native with, was with his crews for four years. Now, we're also told that Hughes and his crews were engaged in an operation on the east side of the Ferguson fire when a tree fell on him. He was treated at the scene but died before he could be transported to a hospital. Fellow first responders mourning his loss. Just moments ago, in a press conference, the superintendent of Sequoia and Kings National Parks spoke about the harsh conditions these hot shots were under and how dedicated Brian was to protecting his community. Brian was one of the best. Uh, he was a pillar of strength for that hotshot crew, uh, maintained positive relations with everyone, uh, gregarious, outgoing, positive in his outlook. Uh, he had a dream of being the superintendent of a hotshot crew, and he had all the aptitude to get there. Um, just a positive, wonderful individual. He says right now their first priority is to make sure Brian's family is taken care of during this time. This is the second death of a firefighter due to the Ferguson fire after Cal Fire. Dozer operator Braden Barney passed away the second day of the fire. Now this is the fourth firefighter in the state of California to die in the line of duty year to date. Reporting live in the newsroom, Christina Tetro, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.